Hey, I'm Gorang, an EC student from NSUD. Hey, I'm Praful, an EC student from Triple ITG. And hi, I'm Aradhya, a CSC student at DTU. And we are all upcoming second year students. And we made Spark. Let us show you how it works. People who are non-verbal and immobile may lose all functions, but they can still blink. Spark uses this ability to help them communicate. To detect eye blinks, we have used an IR sensor integrated with a pair of spectacles and a TFT display connected to an ESP32 microcontroller. The TFT display shows a graphical interface through which user can communicate. The user navigates the on-screen keyboard using simple eye blinks. With one eye blink, the user can move forward. With two eye blinks, the user can select the high button button. And with this, the user can write the whole message. With four consecutive blinks, the user can trigger the emergency mode, which will activate buzzer and an LED light which can only be turned off by physical push button, ensuring there is someone attentive to the user. There are some built-in helpful commands, such as pull request, doctor call, and more so, to make the communication even faster. The setting icon on the main keyboard let the pair URL access Wi-Fi settings and blink settings. In Wi-Fi settings, the pair URL can change Wi-Fi name and password. In blink settings, the blink duration and blink gap can be adjusted. The caregiver can customize these blink settings according to the user blink pad. Whenever the settings are changed, the values are directly saved to EP row, so they persist after the start. We designed a device to handle more than just emergencies by using a proxy server and five based cloud messaging so that the patients can send requests, whether it's for assistance, food, or an room break, to the caretaker's phone. The Android app we built lets the caretakers add multiple patients and filter which types of notifications they receive. This is the version we built within our project constraints, but what we really have in mind is something much more polished. Here's a more present GUI. Hello. It connects to the hardware for Wi-Fi and has the exact same features as the TFT display, but with a cleaner and more user-friendly look. Now let's see the components used in it. A buzzer, a push button, LEDs for visual feedback, a speaker for audio feedback. Edge. This device is controlled by your eye blinks. To move forward, blink once. To select an option, blink twice. A potentiometer for setting the IR sensitivity and the TFT display allowing the users to communicate. Let's see what's inside this. Speaker, IR sensor module with a potentiometer, a buzzer, push button, and LEDs. MP3 module, and this is the ESP32. And these are the two resistors. One major challenge was to find suitable display within our developer. We chose SPI based TFT display for its low pin count. But due to its limited library support, we couldn't use Arduino Uno as planned. We overcame this by using an ESP32 module by changing all the connections and building the entire system from scratch. मेरा नाम मोहम्मद सलाम पत्र इनका नाम क्या है इस्ताबाज इस्ताबाज अच्छा और जैसे हमने आपको दिखाया तो आपको लगता है कि इससे इनको कुछ हेल्प मिलेग